Greetings. My name is Dr. Fuller. I would like to introduce you to the mathematical world around you. Welcome to a brief journey into the critical math rule called the order of operations. Imagine you have a mathematical expression like 4 plus 3 times 2. How do you know which operation to perform first? To solve this puzzle, we follow the order of operations. The order of operations is a set of rules that tells us the correct sequence to solve mathematical expressions when there is more than one operation. This rule ensures that everyone solving a math problem will obtain the same correct solution. Let's take a quick trip back in time. The order of operations is like the superhero of math. Over 100 years ago, it was invented to ensure everyone gets the same answer when they do math. Imagine how confusing it would be if we all got different answers. The order of operations was first developed in the 16th and 17th centuries when mathematicians tried to create rules to make written mathematics easier to understand. Before this, each person had their own way of writing mathematics, often learned by where they went to school or who taught them. This led to a lot of confusion and mistakes. These rules have evolved over centuries thanks to brilliant mathematicians. In the early 1900s, today's version was created and became widely used. It is now the standard order of operations used in mathematics and science around the world. The order of operations is important for ensuring that math statements are solved correctly. It is also essential for understanding and communicating mathematical ideas. It is sort of like a recipe for math. The acronym GEMDAS stands for Grouping Symbols, Exponents, Multiplication, Division, Addition, and Subtraction. This is the order in which we perform operations within an expression. First, we tackle what's inside parentheses, the grouping symbols. So, in 4 times 3 plus 5, we first add inside the parentheses to get 4 times 8. Next, we deal with exponents. If you have something like 5 plus 2 raised to the third power, you first calculate 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. This expression simplifies to 5 plus 8. After grouping symbols and exponents, we move on to multiplication and division, working from left to right. In 4 plus 6 divided by 2 times 5, we perform the division first to get 4 plus 3 times 5. Finally, we deal with addition and subtraction, also working from left to right. In 4 minus 3 plus 1, we subtract 3 from 4 first to get 1, and then add 1 and 1 to get the final answer, which is 2. The acronym GEMDAS helps us remember the order in which we solve a math problem with multiple steps. Before moving on to the next letter or pair of letters, remember to complete everything in that step, like all multiplying and dividing. Uncle Bob's Fish Fry offers the following items. Frank comes to the drive through and orders 3 pieces of fish, 12 shrimp, fries, and a large drink. The expression represents this order. What is the total for this order? The order of operations states that we deal with grouping symbols first. To complete this step, we must simplify everything inside the parentheses down to a single number while following the order of operations. The only thing inside the parentheses is 12 divided by 2, so we simplify it. There are also no exponents in this expression, so next we deal with multiplication and division from left to right. First, we multiply the 3 and 2 to get 6. Still dealing with multiplication and division, we multiply the 6 and 2 for 12. Now we add and subtract from left to right because there is no multiplication or division. We start with the sum of 6 and 12. Next, we add the 18 and 2 for 20. 
Finally, we add 20 and 2 for a result of 22. Frank's order cost $22. What about this order? Rene orders three pieces of fish, 10 shrimp, and a bottle of water for herself. She has twins and orders the same for them. Two chicken strips, two cookies, and a large soda. What is her total if the expression representing her order is? The acronym GEMDAS helps us remember to start with grouping symbols. The first step means focusing on the stuff inside the first set of grouping symbols we come to, reading from left to right. We start with 10 divided by 2, which is 5. This fully simplifies the first set of parentheses. Now we deal with everything inside the second set of parentheses. Each time we enter a set of parentheses, we start back over by looking for grouping symbols. No grouping symbols are inside this set of parentheses, so we move to E, representing exponents. But there are none of those either. Now we move to multiplication and division from left to right. Therefore, we take care of the multiplication of 2 by 3. Next, still working inside the parentheses, we multiply the 2 and 1. There is no more multiplication or division inside the parentheses, so we move to the last operations, addition and subtraction. Add the 6 and 2 to get 8. And finally, add the 8 and 2. This completes all of the operations inside the parentheses. Now that everything is handled inside the parentheses, we look for exponents. However, there are none in this expression. Next, we look for multiplication and division from left to right. We start with the 3 and 2. Multiplying these gives 6. Our next multiplication is with the 5 and 2 for a product of 10. Our last multiplication is the 2 and 10, whose product is 20. Once the multiplication and division are finished, we move to the last step of addition and subtraction from left to right. Adding 6 and 10 gives 16. Then we add the 16 and 1. Finally, we add the 17 and 20 to get 37. Therefore, Renee's order will cost $37. $37. In my mathematical world, I have one little problem. I'm helping raise money for a charity by working the drive through at Uncle Bob's Fish Fry. Help me calculate the amount of each order. Heather orders fries, two pieces of fish, a cookie, and a large soda for herself and four friends. The expression representing her order is 5 times the quantity 2 plus 2 times 2 plus 1 plus 2. What is her total? Heather says she has a coupon for $5 off her entire order. One of her friends forgot his wallet, so she asks you to divide the total amount by 4 so the others can cover their friend. You represent this with the expression, the quantity P minus 5, divided by 4, where P is the previous total. How much does each person pay? Jake comes by and orders 5 pieces of fish, a large soda, 8 shrimp, and 2 orders of fries. He has a coupon for $10 off his order. What is Jake's total if the following expression represents his order? Michaela stops by and orders three sodas, 12 pieces of fish, three orders of fries, and 20 shrimp. She has a coupon for $25 off her order. What is her total if the following expression represents her order? Christine orders lunch for her and two friends, each order being the same. Two pieces of fish, a bottle of water, two chicken strips, and a cookie. She has a coupon for $15 off the total order. How much does each person pay when represented by this expression? Claudia orders two of the same meals. Five pieces of fish, two cookies, two bottles of water, and ten shrimp. She has a special coupon that takes $5 off if she spends $20 or more. 
$10 off if she spends $30 or more, and $15 off if she spends $40 or more. What is her total bill? Max orders 20 pieces of fish and 12 pieces of chicken. Max also wants a dozen dozen or 12 squared shrimp. What is the total with a $50 off coupon? How much would each person pay if the bill was split between five people? Randy pulls up and says he needs seven of the same order. A cookie, three pieces of fish, a bottle of water, and six shrimp. Furthermore, he would like six orders of three pieces of chicken, a soda, and five cookies. Randy would also like ten chicken strips, thirty-six shrimp, and a large soda. If he has a coupon for $50 off his total, how much will Randy pay Uncle Bob's fish fry? Take a look and you will see a mathematical world around you filled with expressions with more than one operation. The order of operations guides us to solve mathematical expressions, grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. The order of operations is a fundamental concept that ensures everyone solves math problems the same way. So, the next time you see a tricky math expression, remember Jemdas and tackle it one step at a time. <laughs>